Like now tourism is banned in all sex to me, we're not allowed to... One thing's for sure, we are not going to get a nice easy sleep tonight. There it is. Oh my god, people, look at it. So they took the money, but you know, they haven't confirmed the bookings. Yeah, so we're kind of screwed here. We're in limbo. It is currently midnight, currently zero degrees Celsius outside. Oh, we are in one place. Be honest, babe. This is crazy. <laughs> it is. When will this day completely end for us? Oh, we made it. Really smooth and easy trip. Recommend it. Really good. Uh, now we got to try and find accommodation, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. We don't supposed to check in till about 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock. And we are here now at 12 o'clock? 12.30. 12.30. We currently have no data connection. So we're kind of screwed. screwed. <laughs> Patricia's like, it's just a yellow building. I'm like, they all look yellow. Just follow me. Oh, I'll follow you. Okay. Currently don't have a clue where we're going or what we're doing. It's a great start off to the vlog, isn't it? Hey babe. Lost in Dresden. That's what the title should be. She's currently trying to log on to their Wi-Fi. She's a smart one. Thank you, babe. Right now, tourism is banned in the whole There's good news, there's bad news. We've made it all the way to Dresden. There was no problems with the border because we just have to show the passport. The police no questions, police really stopped easy. The bus, as yeah. you can see. We've been refused accommodation due to the fact that our intention is to travel. And the state of Saxon is like in full coronavirus lockdown mode, which we were not aware of this, were we? Because we looked on the UK website, the UK website said we can travel to Germany. That's no fun. problem. The main German website to see if we could even come into Germany for tourism purposes. We checked out another German website, um, like for Germany in general. They said yes. Tourism is still fully open and operational. We thought everything was a okay. That's so much confusion and uh, rigmarole around it. It's just like yeah. crazy. It's, it's pathetic. It's all politics, isn't it, right yeah. now? But if you're here for business, you're allowed entry. If you want to go to the Christmas market, what we've read somewhere is that the Christmas market is running, but only for business purposes or locals. Well, if you're here for business, so why would you be going to a Christmas market and having a jolly good time? Either way, what's going to happen right now, we are going to have a quick nosy to see if we can actually make it into um, the Christmas market in Dresden to see if it's true what they say. Currently, looking at every single shop with their own border control, I can believe that they are going to stop us and want proof for business purpose but right. we're gonna find out and we're gonna record it and then we're gonna head back to the train station So we just tried getting into what I believe is a church or a cathedral. It looked beautiful. We were tempted to go inside, we tried, but they don't allow people, even if you do the passenger locator form. It's like track and trace, that's what it is, sorry. But you can't get in because you need an FFP2 standard of a uh, face mask. Face mask. Yeah, we're not having any luck here. A lot of the locals were, they were really upset. And when you hear a German person, whether it's a woman or a man upset with the language, it sounds very angry. <laughs> so yeah, they were upset. <laughs> I feel like Dresden is the sort of place because there's so much to see and do here. Like it's the sort of place we're definitely gonna come back and visit. But for now, we're gonna call it quits. We're gonna head back to the train station and we are going to make plans to go to Copenhagen. But it is beautiful there. It is beautiful. There's a possibility 
that we won't be sleeping at all tonight. Yeah. It's supposed to be here, isn't it? It's supposed to be here. It's closed. Oh my god, people, look at this. What we want is that Flix bus, right? As you can see, it's clearly closed. Online. It's just... still 8, 8 p.m. Yeah, 8 p.m. And we are what, 6, 6.30? 6.30. Because we tried booking online the tickets and they won't go through online. It keeps saying that my card is getting declined when it's not. I've already had two transactions which apparently have left my card. Yeah, and they are actually they took the money, but you know they haven't confirmed the booking, so we have money back. Yeah, so we're kind of screwed here. We're in limbo. <laughs> so now we have no choice but to head all the way back there, which is about what a kilometre and a half, two kilometres walk, and then we can decide. But it's so busy, you're getting your MacBook out or something like that. It's not the place you want to be. This is one crazy night. Stay tuned because we are going to Copenhagen we'll one way or another <laughs> and you will get to see what that beautiful place looks like. Good news, bad news. Good news is we actually have a plan. We've actually booked tickets and we are leaving Dresden tonight at 20 past 9 in the evening. And the bad news is... We just pick up our luggage from the hotel we're supposed to be staying. Yep. But obviously we are not staying due to the current situation. But they already charge us. So this is the most expensive luggage holding fee we ever paid. It's a bit uncomfortable because obviously the driver's not here. The bus ain't here. He should be here in like five minutes. So and we've got no one to ask. To make things worse, we've got a creepy blinking light. It's like, this, it's like the onset to a horror movie right now. Just when we thought nothing else could go wrong. Yeah, it's starting to get worse. And also, the Goodbye. bus is like 15 minutes behind. And there's been no announcement on the website or on the app. You know, it's like a jigsaw, it's just got thrown onto the ground. It's all a mess right now and we're trying to put the pieces back together. This doesn't look good. This is not our day, is it? No. No. But we will persevere. We always persevere, don't we? Hold it. <laughs> we have to. I just understand. bring on Denmark. You're going to love Denmark, I swear to God. Keep tuned. <laughs> Ready. Ready. It is currently midnight and it is currently zero degrees Celsius outside. We're gonna go have a nosy round because we need a place to sit and preferably where it's a bit warmer. Yeah. We have four hours and 40 minutes here and then we catch another bus, an eight and a half hour or eight hour, 40 minute bus all the way to Copenhagen. So that is going to be a bit bonkers, isn't it? Fingers crossed we can. Yeah. Actually, we, are, we will sleep <laughs> we on get, that bus. We'll get there smoothly. We will sleep on that bus. Yes. But for us right now, for the Sefton Memoirs, we are not sleeping right now. No, we are zombies. <laughs> Up since 5 a.m. I'm glad I've got a face mask because probably it's like, you know, you're just red after a whole day of walking. And yeah. Like <laughs> <laughs> so what's happened? So it turns out we went up top, we had a look around, right? And we're like, well, this place doesn't look like Berlin Central Station. Got up, and then I just realized, oh, we are in the wrong place. You gotta be honest, I do not follow the crowd, do I? I don't normally. And today was the day where I just, I don't know, my mind was blank. I just walked right out of the bus, grabbed our stuff, without thinking. I thought we were bang on the minute. <laughs> yeah. When will this day completely end for us? Well, actually, it's midnight. So. It should have ended. No, no, no. We got here just before midnight. So our last mistake was like five minutes to midnight. So that was a telltale sign. All right, let's go. Oh, we're too short. What a joke. We've got to made it. To the correct bus station. We hope. <laughs> we hope this is the correct bus station. From what we've heard, this is the place we need to be. And yay. Yay. We are extremely tired. It's very wet outside. It's, it's snowing, snowing <laughs> everywhere. There's a lot of homeless people. They must be freezing in this weather. And now we are going to wait for the bus. When the bus arrives, we are going to jump on it. And then we are heading all the way to Copenhagen. Copenhagen. 
Yeah, we've exactly. got about an hour and a half here. Yeah. So, yeah, we'll keep ourselves warm because unfortunately yeah. there's bus stations and have any shelter. You know? Zero shelters. That's yeah. why it got, slag so it got slagged off online, this bus shelter. They've got one toilet just behind us and then we've seen... There's like six men in there. Yeah. Smoking. <laughs> We're not going to record much as to the whole B-roll of going to Copenhagen. Probably early morning as we're getting into Denmark, we will be recording that. But as soon as we get on board, we are going to just fall asleep straight away, aren't we? We're knackered. We didn't even know about this. The unexpected surprise. So what's crazy? We've already left the port. Here it is. All right, will you get on the line, please? Yeah. Where do you live? What are you going to do in the... Uh,